I got hacked on my own cybersecurity channel. How the hell does that even happen, right? Well, let's talk about it. How it happened, what to do if it ever happens to you, and finally, how to make sure it never happens in the first place. But before we get into the nightmare, huge shout out to Bog and Codehead, absolute legends, amazing human beings. They are the ones who helped me contact YouTube and actually get my channel restored. Seriously, go subscribe to them. Their videos are incredible. Links are in the description. So, what the hell went down? Well, we got session hijacked. And if you don't know what that means, buckle up. Basically, my editor had access to my accounts, which in hindsight was already a security mistake on my part. And one day he installs a new editing plugin. Looked legit, no red flags. Turns out it wasn't legit, it was malware. And not the kind of malware that just sits there like a creepy roommate. This one went straight for the gold, all of his active sessions. And here's where it gets terrifying. Session hijackers don't need your password, they don't need your two-factor authentication, they don't even need a verification code, they just slide right past all of that. If you're logged into something on your browser, congratulations, they can just take it. No login screen, no extra steps. It's basically like they steal the keys to your already unlocked car and drive off. And yeah, when I realized this was happening, I was absolutely shitting my pants. Now you might be wondering, wasn't 2FA on? Wasn't the password strong? Yes. Yes to both. That's the scary part. This bypasses everything. So what do you do when you're in this nightmare scenario? First thing, disconnect from the internet. Pull the plug. Then wipe that computer. Completely. That's the only way to be sure the malware is gone. Don't just uninstall a program or delete a suspicious file. Nuke the whole system. Start fresh. After that, you need to change all your passwords and re-enable 2FA, but here's a little detail most people miss. Some websites don't log you out of existing sessions even after you change your password, which is insane to me because that means the attacker might still be in. If that's the case and you can't force a logout from all devices, your safest move is to delete the account entirely and make a new one. Painful? Yes. Worth it? Also yes. So how do you make sure this never happens again? First, keep your accounts completely separate from the machine you use to download files. Either have a separate physical PC or dual boot into another OS so your work environment and your risk environment never overlap. Next, for the love of God, scan everything. VirusTotal is your friend. If something gets more than 6 detections out of 70, straight to the trash. And if you're unsure, run it through a service like Triage or Any.Run to see exactly what it tries to do before you risk opening it. My editor didn't know these things before, but trust me, he does now. Use virtual machines. Isolate them completely from your host system. If you don't need a GPU for whatever you're testing, just do it in a VM. Unless you are 1000% sure something is safe, run it in a sandbox environment. I might even make a video on how to completely isolate a VM because it's one of the best lines of defense you can have. And while we're here, let's talk passwords. Use a password manager, not because you're lazy, but because if one account gets compromised in a data breach, you don't want your rest of your digital life to fall like dominoes. KeyPass XC is a great option. Keep every password unique and strong. And there are a few final rules I want to hammer into your brain. Don't click random links. Don't sign up for sketchy sites. Don't reuse passwords. Always use 2FA. Always have backup codes stored somewhere safe. Change your passwords every couple of months just to be extra cautious. Regularly check active devices and sessions. And if you see one you don't recognize, boot it immediately. And finally, don't download files from untrusted sources, no matter how tempting. I hope this never happens to any of you because the internet is a wild place. But if it does, now you know what to do and how to protect yourself. Huge thank you to everyone who stuck around, sent support, and helped me through this chaos. This was a lesson learned the hard way, and I intend to make sure it never happens again.